What's up guys, it's Cameron here, back with another video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn those post notifications on so that you don't miss an upload. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than my typical videos. Today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about hair care. This isn't gonna be like my full-blown hair care routine. I do want to do that eventually, but I'm still kind of figuring out a hair care routine. If you don't watch my channel, you probably don't know this, but I'm someone who like, I'm not the best at hair care. I'm not that knowledgeable on it and I don't wanna come on here and tell you guys my hair care routine if I don't really have one that is that efficient or effective or or just have one in general like I don't know it's just not something I'm ready to do for my channel however I do want to come on here and kind of talk a little bit about something that I get a lot of questions on so I do talk openly on my channel about how I struggle with seborrheic dermatitis on my scalp and I've been asked multiple times to do a video on how I maintain that seborrheic dermatitis I have talked about it in multiple videos and a lot of people ask me questions so I'm coming on here today to give you guys some tips and some products that you guys can use I just want to let you guys know firstly that I did see a dermatologist for my seborrheic dermatitis but I also did find some of these products on my own so it's kind of a little bit of both but I'm here to kind of just give you guys my advice and my tips so we're gonna do an entire video about scalp health which is very different I am NOT a doctor I'm not a dermatologist so I'm coming on here with my personal knowledge that I have learned from research and learned from speaking to my dermatologist so without further ado let's just get on into the video so I do want to start off by saying that the brand Zion health actually sent me a few products for this video I have been trying them out for weeks now actually over weeks I've been trying them out for a, over a month now um, I've had their products for a while so I've actually used them enough before filming this video to be able to like tell you guys how well they work so although this video is sponsored majority of the products I'm showing you are products that I found on my own or from my dermatologist and then the Zion health products are products I've been trying out for a while that they did send me so thank you to Zion health for sending me those products and for sponsoring this video but we're gonna get into the scalp health routine so to start up I just want to tell you guys a little bit about some things that I've learned about scalp health so my entire life I've struggled with severe dandruff and I felt very insecure about it for so so long and I want to tell you guys if you have dandruff don't feel insecure don't let anyone make you feel insecure because people used to make jokes about it all the time when I was little and it's honestly so annoying I had someone comment on my video once saying that people used to tell them they had nits in their hair but you guys dandruff is completely normal and we need to normalize it okay so pretty much I've always had severe dandruff and I finally decided to see the dermatologist for it because head and shoulders was just not cutting it anymore so when I saw my dermatologist she gave me a treatment and basically told me that I have seborrheic dermatitis on my scalp so for years I've had dandruff I've been under the impression that the reason I have dandruff is because I have a very dry scalp and dry hair and so in result I have been not washing my hair much I wash my hair once to twice a week and I thought that that was helping me because apparently when you have dry hair or a dry scalp that's what you're supposed to do but after talking to my dermatologist I learned that that is not actually true at all and yes washing your hair less often might make your actual hair healthier but for your scalp health it's really not benefiting you as much as people tell you it is and and washing it more frequently can actually be better for your scalp. I'm not telling you to wash it twice a day, every day, no, but you can wash it every day and it isn't as much of a problem as people make it seem and I've been under an opposite impression for all of these years, so kind of learning about this more has been really interesting to me because I'm very intrigued by it. So I do want to tell you guys a little bit about what seborrheic dermatitis is. So I'm going to give you a Google definition because again, I'm not a doctor and I don't want to give off any like false information, so we're going to give a definition straight from the internet. So it says Sporic dermatitis is a skin condition that causes scaly patches and red skin mainly on the scalp. It can also occur on oily, oily areas of the body such as the face, upper chest, and back. So pretty much what I did learn about sporic dermatitis is that it is actually caused from oil buildup and it is not actually as much as having like a dry scalp so much but actually buildup of oil. So although my hair itself was not looking oily and was actually looking dry, my scalp was oily. So sometimes you'll see people who actually have oily and greasy hair who also have sporic dermatitis have an oily scalp but sometimes you'll see people whose hair looks normal or feels normal or whose hair looks dry or feels dry but they actually have an oily scalp that's pretty much what it is with me is that it was just a buildup of oil and that's why they say with seborrheic dermatitis you actually have to wash your hair more often because of that oil buildup you need to really be scrubbing your scalp and using shampoos that are going to really help and target that area so that's kind of a little explanation about that I also have learned more recently that scalp exfoliation is so so helpful for oil buildup 
on your scalp and because I have seborrheic dermatitis I do suffer from tons of oil buildup on my scalp as I'm sure many of you guys do as well so using scalp scrubs can be super helpful as well which I actually have one from Zion Health to show you guys which I'm going to get into in a few minutes but I do want to briefly just show you guys the shampoos that I use and the treatment that I do so my dermatologist did recommend a five shampoo treatment to me for my seborrheic dermatitis I was doing it every single day for a month and then I switched to every other day because I kind of got tired of washing my hair every day and she said that if it was getting better after a month I can switch to every other day so that's what I've been doing ever since I've been doing it since the beginning of January and it has been a miracle for me so I'll briefly just show you guys the shampoos that she told me to use I'm not going to go into detail with them because I honestly don't know too much about them besides the fact that she told me to use them so pretty much this is the exact order she told me to use them in also all of these shampoos besides one can be found at your local pharmacy or drugstores the last one is actually prescribed to me so if you wanted to try the last one you would have to go to a dermatologist yourself in the exact order she told me to use Neutrogena's T-Cell shampoo this is just the therapeutic shampoo scalp buildup control and then the the Neutrogena T gel shampoo which is this is the extra strength one and these both work to control redness is itchiness oily scalp it literally says on it dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis psoriasis so both of these in that order T-Cell T-Gel then I just use the Selsun blue um, medicated shampoo this is just like the original one so this is the third day the fourth day is just your basic head and shoulders which I said I use head and shoulders all these years and it never worked on its own but it actually works really well with the other ones and then the last day is the prescribed one which it's called ketoconazole shampoo two percent I don't know exactly anything about it but that's just what it's called I don't know if I said that right but all of those like I said can be found at the drugstore and they all work to target itchy scalp dandruff seborrheic dermatitis psoriasis all of those kind of things they don't all smell the best I'm just gonna be 100% honest with you but the best part that I have about this video is that the other products I have to show you actually smell amazing so they can cover up for that nasty shampoo smell um, and so can your conditioner and your hair masks or whatever you guys are using so I did just want to say really quick that for conditioner I just use a basic conditioner I've been using the Kristen S signature conditioner I don't know much about it but it works well I just use it for the bottom half of my hair but again we're not doing a hair care routine here we're talking about scalp health so we're gonna focus on that and I'm gonna get into some of the products from Zion health because those products have really been a game changer on top of these products these products have gotten rid of my dandruff completely like I'm sitting here and can 100% tell you guys that I do not have dandruff at all anymore and I still keep up with the routine every other night I think that I have definitely helped my problem 100% with that routine along with these two products I'm about to, that I'm about to show you guys from Zion health so Zion health is nice enough to send me their deep cleansing scalp and hair scrub in the green apple scent this has argan oil in it as well and then they also sent me I still have the box for it but this is their scalp nutrition serum the intense scalp revitalizer with nourishing oils and their products are vegan so I'm going to talk a little bit first about the scalp scrub so pretty much the scalp scrub I use before doing my shampoo I'm pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do because then you can actually like wash it out after but the smell actually lingers like I'm telling you guys the truth you can still smell the green apple even after rinsing it off so like I said the smell will like cover up for the nasty smell of the shampoo it genuinely does so pretty much I'll just show you guys what the scalp scrub looks like so I've used like a good amount of it so far as you guys can tell but it just looks like that and it's honestly like a pretty loose consistency the exfoliating beads in it are not super thick um, I know a lot of people say with scalp scrubs they don't like it because they feel like the beads get stuck in their hair but you really have to make sure to fully take your time rinsing it out lifting up parts of your hair and then when you shampoo just really scrub the scrub in your scalp to make sure that you get it all out but this scalp scrub helps so 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 much so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an overview of scalp exfoliation because again I did my research so this says that scalp exfoliation involves using physical or chemical exfoliants to remove excess skin cells oil and dandruff many hair experts maintain that regular scalp exfoliation is the key to healthier shinier hair from the roots to the tips I can definitely agree with that because after using this my hair honestly is so much shinier especially using all of those products you think that those would dry out my hair and damage my hair it genuinely didn't and I think a big part of it is because I've been using this with it so with that pretty much says you can use a physical or a chemical exfoliant this is actually a physical one a chemical one would more be like a serum or something like that looks like a serum like a liquidy one that you would just put in um like kind of like the ordinary AHA and BHA solution it's a chemical exfoliant so it exfoliates your face with just like a liquid serum type of thing and you rinse it off but then there's also like exfoliators like scrubs that you can scrub your face with so it's kind of the same thing so this is a physical exfoliator and pretty much the exfoliators work to get rid of excess oil and like I said I have seborrheic dermatitis so that excess oil builds up and using a scalp exfoliator can really really help with that excess oil just to scrub it all and make your scalp super super clean so pretty much this has pretty clean ingredients in it as well um, it says healing from the earth um, it is scented with green apple I personally use 
scented hair products as long as it's not an overwhelming scent pretty much just says the directions are to apply to clean wet or damp scalp and hair and work through the ends of the hair and rinse so pretty much you're supposed to really target it in your scalp and then work it down to the bottom which is what I do and that's why it gives you super healthy hair from bottom to top or top to bottom or whatever you want to say this says it's vegan no sulfates no parabens and it's gluten free and this just it smells amazing I could literally smell it all day long you guys so I am super super obsessed with this scalp scrub it has helped me so so much and it works so well with all of the shampoos I do not use it every time I wash my hair I would say I use it one to two times a week because I don't feel that it's necessary to use super often it's the same way with exfoliating your body you don't have to do it every day you don't have to do it every other day you can just do it a few times a week and it works now I'm going to talk to you guys about the scalp nutrition serum the intense scalp revitalizer this stuff you guys is amazing so pretty much this is what the packaging looks like and it just looks like that it's like a little dropper and this literally smells so good as well the directions say that after detoxifying with our foaming scalp detox and deep cleansing scalp and hair scrub apply to damp dry hair and scalp distribute three to five drops or as needed a serum at the very end of the roots and hair and massage directly into the scalp be sure to massage into the entire scalp area and complete drying hair and style as usual it says it can be used morning and evening so this honestly works really well not only to give me healthy and shiny hair but it also just really helps with my scalp like i'm telling you that this really helps to also control the oil buildup in my scalp which is my problem here the two of these just work literally amazing together I actually use this every time that I wash my hair even when I don't use the scrub because I just feel like this works so well and I love having it in my hair um using the shampoos alone like yes they really help with the oil buildup and the dandruff but I have realized that recently like I've said I've always been someone although I had the oil buildup in my scalp from the seborrheic dermatitis I have always had very dry hair so my hair never got greasy or oily but now I I feel like after using these products and stuff and washing my hair more often I can tell that my hair itself has been a little bit more oily like it'll get greasy faster I don't really know why I can't really explain it I feel like this really helps to like decrease that and make it not get as greasy as easily and I know it is a serum and it looks like it might be oily but it actually really really helps to control the oil and I really like it I like to really work it into my scalp like I will massage it into my scalp after washing my hair and doing everything so, like I said you guys these products all work amazing you can go in with any of your other hair care products along with these products as well but these are just to target your scalp health and the zion health website is going to be in my bio with a discount code for you guys for 10 percent off your order so you guys can check them out and the other products are sold at cvs as i said i do want to do a full-blown hair care routine very soon as i said when i try to pick one up more but remember with these products you can go ahead with whatever your hair care routine is you can use whatever conditioner you want to use hair mask you want to use hair products you want to use um, but just be careful you don't want to put too much conditioner or hair mask in your scalp they say to actually stay away from that completely because it does add a lot of oil buildup in your scalp so I would focus all of these products more into your scalp as well and with the shampoos I don't know if I clarified but pretty much you're using one each day so you can use them five days in a row and you just keep repeating the cycle and then once you see the dandruff start to go away you can switch to every other day so I would use the first day the one shampoo the second day the other shampoo and you just keep going around with the cycle and then you can just schedule days on your schedule when you want to use a scalp scrub scalp health is super important you guys especially if you struggle struggle with dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis of course you might want to see a dermatologist if it's super super drastic where it's hurting you and bothering you and itchy and uncomfortable but these products might help you to maintain it so I really recommend getting some of these I know a lot of you wanted to see this video and hear an explanation and honestly it was the perfect chance for me to do it because of the Zion Health products that I received so thank you again to Zion Health for sending me these products and for sponsoring this video thank you to all of you for watching and I hope that this was helpful for any of you who struggle with a dry scalp an oily scalp with dandruff with seborrheic dermatitis whatever it might be these are my tips for you guys and let me know if you guys have any of your own tips down below in the comments i really would appreciate hearing them because i love trying new things and that is it for today's video i really hope that you guys liked it if you did make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up comment down below hit that subscribe button and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys